On KCW TV, we present the first round of the tournament to crown a new KCW champion. And Honey and Miss Taylor get it on. All this and more tonight. All right, here we go, Matt Vandal. First round tournament action here to crown a new KCW heavyweight champion. We got Bad Bubba Brewer versus Xander Graves. That's right, Aaron. We're back here at KCW Hardcore TV, Fox 8. Bad Bubba Brewer in the ring against Xander Graves right now. This should be a good one. Xander getting you. the crowd into it. I'll tell you, these fans here don't like Bubba one bit. And I got to tell you, I don't like Bubba very much after what he did to Kato last time well, we I'm saw I'm not him. a big fan of Bubba myself. Oh, Xander there had a clothesline, but Bubba didn't budge. Bubba the big man. Yep. He's begging for more. I Xander tell you what, Xander's got to bring the wood. Xander's got to do something other than that to get him off his feet. I don't know. He's giving the lariats his all. Line. There's a big drop kick taking Bad Bubba Brewer down. Beautifully executed drop kick takes the big man off his feet. Xander Graves going upstairs now. Top rope, big drop kick off the top taking Bubba down. Excellent athleticism by Xander Graves. Xander's going to have to use his speed in this matchup because, well, Bubba's got a huge weight advantage. Xander going over the top rope with a planchette, taking out Bubba's bodyguard, the Insaniac. I tell you what, I was nervous about the Insaniac being over there, but Xander doesn't look too worried. Xander's not having any problem taking him out. Oh, here comes Bubba, though. Xander holding his own against these two big men. It's not going to be easy, though. Xander now trying to fight back here. Could it oh. be? Beautiful noggin knocker by Xander Graves. Taken from the uh, classic textbook wrestling maneuvers of the 1980s. Xander on the top again. Big plunge off the top. Taking Beautiful. both men down to the floor. Tell you what, this kid doesn't know when to quit. He, how many dots? He's been up to the top rope twice already. One plancha, and we're not even a minute into this match. And he'll do whatever it takes to get the W here tonight. And he I, wants that KCW Heavyweight Championship. As does every man on our talented roster here in KCW. What a night to be a pro wrestling fan. Tell you what, though, this is only first round action. Even if Xander wouldn't some, somehow squeak out a win here, he's got a daunting challenge ahead of him, no matter who wins this match. Yes, whoever takes the long road to the title is going to be well winned by the end of the night. Now we're going to get this matchup back in the ring here. The referee's looking rather dapper in the KCW uh, official referee shirts. As Bubba delivers a nice headbutt to Graves. Bubba using that hard head to his advantage. And there's the big body slam. Xander Graves is down. Here comes, oh, nice elbow drop. Bubba goes for the cover. Look at uh, the arrogance. Had a, only a one count, pulled him up by his hair. Look at the arrogance of Bad Bubba Brewer. Bad Bubba with the upper hand there, courtesy of the Insaniac, while the two are battling it out on the outside. Now Bubba's got the upper hand here, courtesy of a handful of hair, and then a big headbutt. Bubba with a big fat headbutt on uh, Xander Graves, takes him right off his feet. Wait a second, what's the Insaniac doing here? He's distracting the referee, threw a chain into Bad Bubba Brewer. Did you see that? Wait a second, Bubba has a chance. Wait Here a second, there's, there's Honey. Low blow Low to blow Bubba. by Honey. Kato's wife just got in the ring and low blowed Bubba while the referee wasn't looking. Ronnie Edwards didn't see that. Well, who cares? A little redemption. There's the end go. The shining wizard <laughs> kick took him down. Xander Beautiful goes for the cover. Gary. One, two, three. He got him. Xander Graves. In a time of three minutes, 35 seconds. Your winner advancing to the semifinal round, Sander Graves! Ladies and gentlemen, we just witnessed Bubba take a low blow there from Kato's wife. She's obviously upset about what happened to her husband. Thankfully, Big Lenny over there, Kato's brother there. Big to Lenny protecting. Stop Bubba's definitely not happy. happy. Bubba's a vile human being. Oh, hey, get out of here. Hey, I'll get security to get you out of here, punk. Oh, Wait a second now, Miss, Miss Taylor's in the ring. I wonder what she has to say. I don't know. Let's tune in. I could watch this.
everybody in the back has been talking about Cato and how hurt and how hurt Cato is. Well, you know what? They should be talking about me, Miss Taylor. What an arrogant young woman. Frankly, I don't care that Cato's hurt. Really, I don't care he's hurt. Arrogant, yes, but attractive nonetheless. If it were up to me, he'd have been hurt a long time ago. And that piece back there would have been hurt right along with him. And I think Honey's hurt enough. Looks that way. Might have some female action here. Well, here we go, Honey getting in the ring. Squaring off here, looks like against Miss Taylor. Oh, uh -oh. Honey took her down. Honey and Miss Taylor rolling around like, like we're at one of the gentlemen's clubs you frequent, Aaron. I haven't been there in uh, weeks, man. Or days. Hours. 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 Okay. Listen here, bitch! Wanna talk shit? How about you and I get it on next month? And Honey issuing a challenge to the lovely Miss Taylor. Yes, yes, that's exactly what went down here. Did she accept? I don't know. She stormed out of here. I've never known Taylor to back down, so who knows what's going to happen here at KCW. The insane, hardcore action of Keystone Championship Wrestling is coming back to the Frankstown Armory Saturday, June 12th with the 7 p.m. bell time. Be there as KCW unleashes its unique brand of entertainment. Tickets are just $10 in advance and are available at the Battery Warehouse, 1632 Pleasant Valley Boulevard, Altoona. Watch KCW TV early Sunday mornings at 1 a.m. on Fox 8. Okay, we'll see the opposite now, reversal. Tips up, nope, caught him, head scissor, oh! What a sends, maneuver. Sends Fowler right into that middle turnbuckle. And that's oh, face first into that Schoolboy roll up here, because no, only a two again. Even though they got padding on him, that never feels good. I wouldn't imagine. What do you call that maneuver by Nanero? That's, I don't know. I'm, he's the only one I've ever seen do that. Well, kind of a head scissor there. Whipped him, though, into the turnbuckle. It's a it's beautiful a, move. It's Smart a wonderful move. maneuver, yes. In the turnbuckle again. Up, oh, trying the same thing. Uh, Fowler caught him this Fowler time, though. Him. Oh, sets him down here. Oh! Dropped him with a falling DDT right into the knee. The back right. of De Niro's head right, right into Scott Fowler's knee, and that might be all, all she right wrote in the here. the back of the Fowler neck. You see his neck snap. Five minutes gone. Five minutes. De Niro clearly kicked out of that cover, though. Now, Fowler choking him. Uh, Bryce uh, Remsburg warning him there again. Back to his feet, Fowler. Here we go, Irish whip. Sets him up. Head scissor attempt. Up. No. Up, oh, caught him in that. Donero floats over. Oh! And he delivers Identical it. maneuver by Julio Donero. Excellent counter by Donero. Scott Fowler went for a side slam. Donero floated up and over and then delivered a similar backbreaker right to this. It was almost the same spot Scott Fowler hit Donero in, am I right? You are correct, Matt Vandal. Go, charging in. Oh, big backsplash there, right in the corner. Julio says, you want another one? Oh, here he comes. Oh, Fowler got the knees up. Hard knees in the back Telegraphed of the arrow. that one. Fowler up, Julio ducked the clothesline, boot to the midsection. Nice spinning neck breaker. Again, focused on the back of the neck there, De Niro. Fowler goes for the cover. Only good, a two. Good strategy by Scott Fowler, sticking to the same uh, same injured injured part of De Niro. That's good. That's what's going to take to get him a win here. Head of steam, drops the elbow, goes to the cover, got the arm key lock there. Only Lazy cover. Lazy cover by uh, Fowler. Didn't hook the leg. Arrogant cover. He's got to get some leverage on those shoulders yeah. of Julio if he wants to pick up this win here. That might be the inexperience factor coming in to harm him here in this match. Yep. Snapmare taking Julio down. 
Oh, now reverse chin lock. Great game playing by Fowler. I'm impressed with this youngster. Knee right into the right into the neck area again. Really cranking back on it there. Oh. Venero's eyes are rolling to the back of his head here from what yeah. I can see from our position here in the KCW well, arena. He might be out there. Julio might just be out here. If that, if that arm falls another time, this matchup's over. Ah, oh, he's not done yet. No, sir. Julio fighting his way back up here. Almost as if he's energized by the fans here at KCW Arena. Irish whip by Julio, reversed. Oh, big knee to the midsection. Fowler cut him off. I tell you what, Aaron, what do you think? I'm impressed with Scott Fowler here tonight. Very impressive. Another choke hold here by Scott Fowler. Senior official there, Bryce Remsburg, warning him again. Picking him up here, drops him with a side backbreaker. Smart move. Very, very nice. They got the leg hooked. Yeah, yep. See, he's learning, he's learning. Did he hear me, me down in the ring there? I, I don't know, but he hooked the leg on there and he's getting closer to a three count. There we go. Scott Fowler's gotta be wondering what he's gotta do to put Julio away here. Nice kicks by Fowler in a corner. Again, and another choke here. Scott Fowler he doesn't, doesn't care need. about these rules here. No, and he's in a position now, he's in control of the match. He doesn't need to go for a choke hold. Go now. Fowler charging in with head of steam. Oh, caught what with a, a beautiful spin kick. kick. And both men down. With those boots on De Niro, that doesn't feel good at all. Bryce Remsburg here administering a 10 count. Uh, looks like Julio is going to be up to his feet first here. Yes, sir, Aaron. He's up. That might be the man who has the advantage. Up, oh, blocked the clothesline. Big right hands. Oh, taking Fowler down. Arrow's throwing a big right haymakers. Took took Fowler right off his feet. Here we go. Irish whip by Julio. First. Sure ah. reversal by Fowler. Back, back to the uh -oh. back. Here we go. Fowler setting him up here for the big hit. That glory catapult. If he hits this, it's over. No, he countered. Sunset flip. Goes for the. No, Fowler countered. Wait, he's got the feet Fowler on the ropes on the here. Ropes. His feet were on the ropes, that shouldn't have counted. In a time of nine minutes, 25 seconds, your winner advancing to the semifinal round, The Solution, Scott Fowler. Right, here we go, Matt Vando, another first round matchup here. The KCW Heavyweight title. And, uh, Doug Daler getting out of there. He saw that big right hand coming. <laughs> I can't blame him. That big right hand coming from Lenny is never something I'd like to take. Big Lenny in a black singlet. Doug Diggler wearing the, well, I don't know the designer of that outfit, but. I'll tell you, if I saw Big Lenny's uh, big right hand coming at me, I'd get the hell out of there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doug Diggler looking dapper as always. Ladies man with Gina Fine in his corner. Doug Diggler needs to take a different approach. He's not going to be able to shoulder yeah. tackle Big Lenny. But Doug I mean, Diggler doesn't have enough leverage there to take down Big Lenny, but uh, Big Lenny has God, enough to take down Big Doug. Lenny. Why would he try and do that? What a lariat delivered by Lenny. There we go now. Big Lenny here setting him up. Where's the body slam? If I were Diggler, I don't know if I'd be wrestling in those nice threads. They're pretty sweet looking. They are. And they're probably not going to be looking that nice by the end of this match is the way things are going. Big Lenny just okay. seems to be manhandling Diggler. And, uh, oh, there's a big sidewalk slam. Lenny, 300 plus pounds, driving Diggler down. What's Diggler weigh? Do you have that in your notes, Aaron? Oh, I don't have it. I think it weighs about 185. You think? It's your job to know. <laughs> well, uh, I only asked Diggler what he weighed before the match. He, uh, I don't know if I trust a man like that, though. Yeah, good point, Diggler. Beautiful hangman there. That's what Doug Diggler's got to do, man. He's got to use that ring. He's got to use everything he can to his advantage here against Big Lenny. Those long red locks of Lenny playing advantage against him there. Oh. Diggler reach up, grab the hair to get some leverage. That was the second time he did that. That time it was to the back of Lenny's neck, because the other time it was to the throat area. Both effective maneuvers now as Lenny's down. And, uh, Ah, oh, nice. Flipping over there with the neck snap off yeah. the second rope. Version of a snapmare off of the second rope. Wait a second rope. here. Doug Diggler now 
distracting the referee, and Janelle Fine is getting up on the apron. Doug Diggler. Oh, Janelle Fine just hit Big Lenny with Doug Diggler's microphone. Right in the back of the head. And uh, Lenny referee barely off his feet now. Of referee John Williams. Doug Diggler now has Big Lenny in a front face lock. I tell you what, we had a strength and stamina of Lenny. He took that microphone shot. Didn't even and, uh, go down. Picked him straight up there. What a display look of power by Big Lenny. Either. Look at the look on Diggler's face. Diggler can't believe it. Oh, clothesline taking him down. Out now choking him. Referee John Williams warning okay, him here. Diggler's going to come out on top here. He's going to have to cheat to win. Which nice has been, leg drop by been Doug his Diggler. strategy in the past. Goes for the cover here. One, two, and. Look wow. at the power of Big Lenny. What a display of power by Big Lenny. Diggler can't believe it. Quite frankly, I can't either. That was that. I, I don't know how he did that. Basically, just uh, bench press Doug Diggler. That'd be a 185 pound bench press. If you'd have done your research, we'd have known how much Lenny was thrown up there. That is true, Matt Vandal. Here comes. Janelle Fine again, uh, the microphone to the back of the head. That's two shots with a microphone to the back of and Big Lenny's Lenny. And still on his feet. What, uh, what do you got to do to take this big man down? What, big Lenny's impressing me here tonight. Uh, I don't think Doug's going to. trying to suplex the big he's man. He's trying to get him up in a suplex here, but that's going to take a lot of strength there. And, uh, I don't think Big Lenny has him. Uh, I think Doug hurt his back there. Big Lenny straining, uh, straining Diggler's back there. He's 300 plus. That'll do it to you. Oh, now Big Lenny with a right hand. Doug answers one with, with a right hand to the midsection. Oh, big right hand from Big Lenny. Look at that difference. Look at what Diggler's punches did to Lenny. They barely phased him. Lenny punches him, and Diggler goes so flying halfway fine across on the, the apron ring. again. Oh, she didn't hit him with a microphone that time, though. Oh, yes, she did. I thought Lenny caught him there. And uh, Doug Diggler just attempted a spear, and it didn't quite work. Uh, Dig Doug Diggler did not have enough leverage here on that spear to, to take Big Lenny down. Diggler but, uh, trying to get some momentum here. He looks like a bull there in the corner. There we go. Lenny moved out of the way. Lenny smartly moved out of the way there. Doug Big Diggler. Big Lenny has, has his eye on that gold heavyweight Five championship. Five minutes gone. Five minutes. He's been there. He, Lenny's been there three times before. He wants it again. That's right. Up. And Janelle Fine looking very concerned about the welfare of her man, Doug Diggler. Look at him. Look at the look on Diggler's face. I don't know if he knows where he's at. I, he looks like he's out of it. Lights are on, but nobody's home. And uh, Diggler just got a, another big right Lenny's hand. haymakers. Ah. Knocking Diggler right down instantly. Oh, another big right hand. Big Lenny easily in control of this matchup now. John Williams telling Lenny to use an open fist. Uh, what, what, what's Doug Diggler? Hey, Diggler. Lenny just dying him up there. I think Lenny knows he's got this under control now. There you go now. Uh, Big Lenny now firmly. Oh, a low blow. Blatant low blow by Doug Diggler. Right in plain view of uh, John Williams there, but John Williams choosing not to do anything about yeah, it. I mean, that's John a referee's call. This John is a tournament Williams. here, tournament right. for the heavyweight title. Now you got to respect that. He's letting these two guys fight it out. Yep. And if Lenny could, if, uh, Lenny could tell that he's going to let some stuff go, then Lenny should try a little bit of cheap maneuvers as well. Yep. Got him. It looks like a bear. No, snapshot may be coming here. Not Doug can't get it. Big Lenny there blocking the snapshot. Diggler trying every. Can't hit it. Up, oh, Full Nelson. Picks him up. Oh, big Full Nelson slam. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Full Nelson slam by Big Lenny. Goes for the cover here. This might be it. One, two in. Only a two. Somehow Doug Diggler. He dug down deep and kicked out of that Full Nelson slam. Diggler. Showing some resilience there. It's a skinny guy in there fighting against a big 300-plus pounder. He ain't, he's not giving up. He wants the gold as well. Takes a lot of gut to get in there with someone like Big Lane. That man is, is huge. He's massive. Without a doubt. Short arm reversal. Here comes a snapshot. Ah, blocked it again. Wait a second. Lenny's got him set up here. 
I think we're going to see it. Here comes the Valley of Pain. Oh, he hit it. Good Lord. Did you Valley see Taylor's neck? Wait a second. Here, come, here comes the Insaniac. It's the Insaniac. And Bad Bubba he, Brewer. He kicked Big Lenny. Wait a second. Insaniac here taking out Big Lenny. Here comes Bad Bubba Brewer. I tell you what, Big Lenny would have had to win with, with no questions after that beautiful maneuver. And uh, Bad Bubba well, and the Insaniac are come to ruin out Kato's, the day. Uh, this is Kato's brother here. And these three men now attacking uh, Big Lenny. It's yeah, calling for the bell. John Williams calls. Wait a second. Here comes Dave Daniels. Here comes Dave Daniels. Dave Daniels and, uh, going right after Diggler. He's trying to Dave clear Daniels house. taking out all three of these guys. There's the rolling neck rigger. Pandemonium in the ring here. Dave Daniels here cleaning house. Dave Daniels and Big Lenny clearing out the ring. What's the official call here? Who? I don't know. Well, let's, let's go to Hank Hudson for the announcement. In a time of seven minutes and 54 seconds, referee John Williams rules this match. No contest. No contest? Well, who's going to advance? What? Oh, Big How Z got here. We're going to restore some order all this, all this confusion. Ladies and gentlemen, this match has been rolled a no contest which means there will be no winner in this match. And that means the next match, the winner between Brock Singleton and Sebastian will automatically get a bye and be in the finals. Security out here to restrain Bubba. And hey, there's Robert. Hey, get out of here. Who let him in the booth? I don't know. Get him out of here. Security. Shut up. I'm going to tell you right now, Lenny, because I put your brother out and you messing with my business. Me and my man at Saniac, you better get somebody. I don't care if it's the Altoona Curve or the Penn State Nittany Lions. You better get a partner. Cause I'm gonna kick your ass! Shut your hole, punk! Singleton doesn't doesn't like any of these fans here. He, he making it very adamant too that he doesn't. Yeah. I don't think any of the fans now, like now him. Sebastian rolled through the pressure there. Sebastian five minutes Sebastian. gone. Five minutes. Oh, there's that power of Singleton. Look at a strength. Good right lord. Up. up, down to his feet. Oh, face into the knee. Face buster by Sebastian. Beautiful what a counter. Here we know. Sebastian might be able to get some momentum going Got his way here. Got coming here. Up top rope. Oh, beautiful twisting. Send going right on top of Brock Singleton. I love why I can watch this kid every day. Ten count. Looks like. Yep. Double knockdown here. We're going for a ten count. We here at KCW would like to thank you for joining us on Hardcore TV each and every Saturday night at 1 a.m. Fox 8. Wait a second. I think that, that's Scott Fowler out here. What's right. Scott Fowler doing? Well, Sebastian here in the ring. Haymakers by Sebastian looking good. Right to the chin of Singleton. Oh, back body drop. No, Sebastian lands on his feet. Sebastian sends him into the turnbuckle. Probably the best pure athlete here in KCW. Sebastian laying it right on his feet just like a cat. Nice maneuver. Head scissor taking him down. Drove his head into the canvas hard. Look at Sasha, she's not liking this. Goes to the, the cover. What's Who Fowler doing here? I don't know. I mean, of course, we, we know Fowler and Sebastian haven't been getting along in the past, well, probably six months now. They've been feuding back and forth. Oh. Maybe he's just signing up the pretty Sasha. Oh, wait there. a second. Up. Oh, Brock looks like he's going for that Death Valley driver. Look at this. Move. Now Sebastian's got him up. Oh. Wow. Beautiful maneuver. Spun him out of the fireman's carry into a face had buster. To take it out of Sebastian. Singleton's a big fella, and he just hoisted him right up on top of his shoulders. Indeed, Sebastian is hurting here. Uh -huh, he's wore down. 
There we go. Now Sebastian to the outside here on the apron. And Sasha, she's not going to let going him. He's going up top. Wait. Sasha, though, grabbing away. Referee Bryce Remsburg right on top of things. That's why he's a senior referee. Oh, beautiful swanton bomb. Right on to Brock Singleton. That has got to be all. There we go. Now he's going for the cover. Oh, only it's, oh, wait a second. Fowler put that leg of Brock Singleton on the ropes. That's exactly what he did. He pulled that leg right out of the ropes. He doesn't want to see Sebastian win. Oh, Fowler just hung him up there on the top rope. Oh, wait a second. Brock Singleton here. Death Valley driver. That's got to be all. Be One, two, and three. In a time of seven minutes, 40 seconds, your winner. Advancing into the tournament final, Brock Singleton! Sebastian, on June 12th, you have Scott Fowler again, and this time he's in a dress. How's that gonna go? Well, as you can see, I think it's pretty darn funny that Scott's gonna be wrestling in a dress and showing his true colors. Anyway, I'm gonna retain my Central PA title, and that's about all it. All right. Scott Fowler, next month, you're in a dress against Sebastian. Oh, no, no. What, you think that's funny? Yes. You think that? It's not happening. I will not wear a dress. By the way, Scott Fowler, he really will be in a dress. Bubba Brewer and Saniac, you guys are going to be colliding with Big Lenny next month. Lenny colliding with us? Anymore, Lenny's like a bad case of hemorrhoids. And this is Preparation H. Tell him, Bubba. Lenny, why do you keep messing in my business? Can't you see your brothers sitting at home, laying down, eating a bologna sandwich through a straw? Because I did that, Lenny. Next thing you know, I'm going to beat up your grandmother, Lenny. Because if you get in my business, Lenny, your whole family's going down. Yeah. And can those little kids who are running around, yeah. I'm going to eat them for lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Big Lenny. Bubba Brewer and the Insaniac issued a challenge to you for a tag team match on the next show, June 12th. Who do you have in mind as a partner? Well, I've been given a little bit of thought, and I still have nobody in mind. Not that it really matters, because I don't know if I really need a tag team partner. On next week's show, we crown a new KCW champion. Plus, Dave Daniels battles Loverboy Lewis. Also, the hardcore title will be defended. All this and more next week. Thanks for watching and have a KCW night.